All right, there we go. Recording is in progress. Well, thank you everyone for coming to our monthly tech talk today. My name is Carolyn and I am CPA's program coordinator. And today I'm going to be talking about Alexa. And if you are, if you do have your camera on, um, you can kind of raise your hand or wave, but I'm just curious how many people have an Alexa? You can also let me know in the chat or by unmuting yourself. Anyone? Okay, Trifina says that she has an Alexa. Uh, we have one also, this is Carol Weber. Okay, cool. Yeah, we have one too, Carolyn Sellen. Okay, very cool. I'm just wondering, you know, like if people have it, don't have it, have any idea, um, you know, what it is or whatnot, but I'm gonna kind of take you through the basics of what is Alexa, what does Alexa do, all of that kind of stuff. So someone said we have one but are afraid of what all it can listen to and I will get to that um, actually at the end about privacy and security all right I so do not have one you do not no I don't okay well maybe you'll want to get one after um after this presentation we will see so what is Alexa? So Alexa is owned by Amazon, as you can see in the little logo here at the top right. Um, that's the Amazon Alexa logo. And depending if you do use Alexa, then you may be familiar with that blue circle. Um, so a lot of times, Sorry, oh, I'm not sure about that. See, I'm giving this pre presentation from home and um, my Alexa just answered, but <laughs> um, so typically when Alexa's listening or thinking, um, she'll, uh, I say she, but really it's artificial intelligence. So I guess it would be it um, turns blue, a blue circle. So that's the logo is the blue circle. Anyways, what is Alexa? Alexa is Amazon's cloud-based artificial intelligence AI. Here's something I found on the web. According to Hired.com. <laughs> She's going to be talking the whole time. Alexa, stop. Okay. So it's a personal assistant, virtual personal assistant with artificial intelligence that is cloud-based. And Amazon actually bought Alexa back in 2013 from a Polish um, uh, artificial intelligence speech recognized software, um, but then it was actually released to the public via the Echo and Echo Dot in November of 2014. So it's going on eight years old. Um, and as I was doing some research, I was interested to find out that it was actually inspired by the computer voice and conversational system on Star Trek and some other um, sci-fi TV and movies. So that was kind of interesting. And when you think about it, it totally makes sense. Um, so it, it works with the Echo, Echo Dot, and now they have a video um, tablet. I forget the name of it. Um, but it's still through Amazon and Fire OS, which is Amazon's operating system. Um, so you can get an Amazon tablet, which is the Fire, um, which originally it was based off of like a Kindle e-reader, but now it has a lot more capabilities um, as well to Amazon has their own app store and all of that as well. Um, so Alexa also works with iOS, Android, Windows, um, pretty much anywhere you get online or with your device, Alexa is capable of pairing. Um, so what does Alexa do? Um, it is capable of voice interaction, just like we saw um, or heard a minute ago. 
mine started talking back to me because it heard its name, which we'll get to in a second. Um, music playback, I could tell Alexa to play some songs or something, set an alarm, um, streaming podcasts and audiobooks, providing weather, traffic, news updates. Um, so really it is kind of your virtual assistant. Um, and it's hands-free, which, you know, in the past you had to type into Google or Bing or Yahoo to find some of these answers or play music. It's available in nine languages, um, which, you know, all the ones you would expect are there, plus Japanese, Portuguese, Hindi, and Arabic, which I found interesting. Um, but it makes sense because, it, you know, it, Amazon wants it to be compatible with the most highest populations. Um, and those are the languages represented. All right, so Alexa's functions. And, and I'm trying to, um, you know, not emphasize the word, the, the name, or mine will continue talking back. So, um, but Alexa has 100,000 and more functions and skills available, which sounds overwhelmingly large, um, but it depends how you count a skill. So if you count a timer and, a, and setting an alarm as two different skills, I can see how you know, it gets up to 100,000, but there really is so many different functions um, to using Alexa. Um, so some of the features are the voice interaction, like I said about, so you can ask Alexa anything. Now, whether she'll have an answer or not, that, that's another point, but you can ask her what's the weather or, um, you know, what, what, what date is Thanksgiving on this year or any question. And if she doesn't know or have that information, um, typically the response is, hmm, I don't know, or hmm, I don't know that one, something along those lines. Um, like I said, you can set an alarm or timer. Uh, you can check weather, traffic, sports, news updates, um, which is very helpful. I often say, you know, when is it going to rain or um, you know, what's, what's the current temperature? And she, it even knows the, um, like humidity and like some of those details that are a little like harder to figure out. Um, somehow the artificial intelligence knows. Um, and like I said, streaming, playing music, podcasts, and audiobooks. All right, so pairing with Alexa. Um, so I, I chose to say pairing because if you're at all familiar with Bluetooth, it, it's a similar connection um, with pairing different smart devices with Alexa. Um, so some of the ones that easily pair that I know of are the Ring doorbell, if anyone has that. It's um, the video the video doorbell where you can actually see both in live real time and in the past, um, you know, who's at your door and you can actually talk through the doorbell, which is cool. Uh, Philips Hue lights, which is um, like smart light bulbs, uh, the Google Nest, which so Google, so Google Nest is through Google. However, it pairs with Alexa, which is um, kind of going back to what all Alexa works with. Even though it's an Amazon product, it still pairs with Apple devices, Google devices, um, you know, non-Android or Apple devices. It pairs with um, like the Philips light bulbs and ring doorbell. 
um, they have smart outlets now, which is pretty cool because I, um, we had them hooked up and let me just say, if you didn't know this, my husband's in tech, he's a big tech guy. So like our entire house is smart home <laughs> technology. And he, he would probably be a much better presenter on this than I am, but I'm telling you my experience. Um, so we have smart outlets too. So they plug into a normal outlet, but they sync or pair with Alexa. So I could say, Alexa, turn on Christmas decor. And I could... Oh, see, something must still be plugged in because she just said, okay. So something in my house is on right now. I, I don't know what, but um, it was pretty cool because I would say that and all of the Christmas lights in the entire house came on. So that was kind of cool. Um, it also pairs with security systems. So we have um, ADT security and like, I and I don't, I don't always know 100% of how to do all these things, um, but we can arm and disarm the alarm system through giving Alexa a command, which is pretty cool. Um, our garage door, <laughs> our garage door um, also same thing. I can open and close it through, it, and that's actually through our security system. But again, it pairs with Alexa. Um, so it's pretty cool. It's um, any smart device you have really can pair. Um, and I put that little logo up at the top there, works with Alexa. When you buy new smart gadgets, it may have that logo or it may say somewhere on there about, um, you know, works with, pairs with Alexa something like that. Um, Pandora, Spotify, Apple Music, they all pair. Um, so there's an Alexa app and I think I may have, yeah, I, I don't think I put that slide in, but um, if you have an Echo, Echo Dot, Fire, um, any of those devices, or even if you don't, you can get the Alexa app and um, that gives you more control over, um, you know, pairing and syncing all these things. Now, what I don't know, and this would be a question for my husband, the techie, is um, how many accounts you can have like on Alexa. So if you have two people living in your house, he, see, he's the mastermind behind all of it. I, I know how to use it for what I want to do, but he has the, um, the app and has everything synced up. Um, but interestingly enough, when I, I, I always ask what the weather is in the morning and um, we, we have a 7 a.m. alarm that goes off on Alexa and you, you can actually tell, tell it to snooze and it'll snooze and come back, I don't know, in seven, nine minutes, something like that. Um, but it does know who, who it's, who's talking to it because it'll call me by name sometimes. So it, it's very interesting. It knows the two of us, but I don't know how it would work, um, you know, if we each had the app. I, I would think you can like add someone to your household. Uh, that's how a lot of those things work, but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. So if you haven't seen the Echo Dot before, here's a picture of it. It's a small uh, round little speaker looking thing. Um, the, the, there's other models too. There's uh, one that looks like a ball, one that looks like a tower. Those are the Echo and Echo Dot. And then um, the, the tablet one kind of looks like a small tablet or picture frame and it has video chat capabilities as well. Um, but here I just put up some of the common questions and I can actually, um, kind of ask, ask Alexa now, Alexa, what's the weather? Mm -hmm. 
is 52 degrees Fahrenheit with partly sunny skies. Today, we can look for lots of clouds with a high of 53 degrees and a low of 48 degrees. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but uh, Alexa said that it's 52 degrees in Cleveland, partly cloudy. Um, it kind of gives a whole rundown. Question. It's Wednesday, April 20th, 2022. <laughs> Um, but yeah, different things like turn the light to 50%. Now that again, it is one of those that pairs with the Philips um, smart lights, but there's different smart lights that can go a warmer hue, a cooler hue. So that's more of a yellow color, more of a bluish white color, um, the brightness up and down setting a timer for 15 minutes, wake me up at 7 a.m. Um, you can also ask it questions like, do dogs eat yogurt? So we, we've been doing that a lot because we just got a dog about a month ago. And um, yeah, and <laughs> so so how Alexa gathers its information is, is pulling information from all these sources, from Google, Bing, Yahoo, Wikipedia, like all these sources, and that's how the artificial intelligence puts together the answer that then you hear back. Um, other artificial intelligence virtual personal assistants is Apple Siri, Google Assistant, Microsoft's Cortana, um, and here's just some funny things I put. Um, hey, Alexa, can you check my bank account and let me know what Apple product I can afford? And Alexa says apple juice, <laughs> um, which I don't know. And we'll talk in a minute about um, the privacy and security, but I don't know if Alexa can get in or I don't know that Alexa can pair with your bank accounts or anything. If it can, I would recommend not doing that. Um, and as someone who loves tech and you know has all this smart stuff, I just I would not advise you to pair your bank account with um, you know something that's voice activated. But anyways, this other one says I keep saying Alexa when I mean to say Siri, and I just can't believe I live in a time where I'm getting getting my robots mixed up. And that's funny because um, I have an iPhone, so I use Siri all the time when I'm out and stuff. Um, but at home, so again, I live in a smart house tech, techie world over here, but we literally have six of these echoes. There's like one in every room of our house. Um, and and it, it's funny, sometimes if you're like in a hallway, which, which one's going to pick up? Which, which Alexa's going to hear me? Um, and sometimes one that you're not even in that room hears you. So it, it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, it, it, just because you have an iPhone and have Siri, you can still use Alexa and vice versa. So some interesting facts that I want to share. In 2019, Alexa had or Amazon Alexa had 70% Alexa stop uh, had 70% share of the smart speaker market. Google Home had 25% and Apple HomePod had 5%. Which I actually found that kind of interesting because we know Apple iPhones um, has such a large um such a large share of the smartphone market. So it's interesting that they that that does not reflect in the smart speaker market. Um, and probably has to do with cost. When Echo first came out, I think it was, I don't know if it was 199 for the tower and like 99 for the Echo Dot or something, but it's gone way down. Now you can get an Echo Dot for, I think, 30 or $40. Um, according to an e-marketer survey, 41% of individuals 65 plus use Alexa, um, which was actually the highest um, 
age bracket like millennials and stuff you you would think that they would be all over this um tech stuff and maybe the survey's outdated but according to the survey um that's not the case that's actually most prominent with older adults um and then this was just funny to me that alexa has received over two hundred and fifty thousand marriage proposals um so it, the biggest thing when you first get an Echo or um, an Alexa device is asking all these silly questions, right? And you can ask Alexa to tell you a joke every day or whatever, um, and and Alexa will respond to anything you ask. Um, all right, so now privacy and security. So the, the, big, the big concern with really any smart device, but especially these voice activated artificial intelligence, virtual personal assistants is they can hear me and yeah, they can hear you. Um, that's, that's kind of the point, but I, I get the concerns around that too. So supposedly they only hear only listen once you say the wake word so alexa is alexa um google i think is hey google uh siri is hey siri or right hey siri yeah i i was i just had my phone to make sure that was it um and you can change the wake word a little bit. Um, but yeah, they're only supposed to be listening once they hear that wake word. Um, so I can't just say, what's the weather? None of my smart devices will tell me. I have to call them by name in order for them to listen. Um, if you go into the Alexa app, you can actually go back and listen to recordings. Um, from, I, I don't know how long they're stored, if it's just endless or, you know, if it clears out every week or month, um, but you can delete recordings in the app. Um, as an FYI, the, these tech devices, websites, um, social media, Google, Amazon, they all do track your activity. Um, so that's, that's not just a theory. They do track your activity for marketing purposes, but it's not all bad. So what I mean by that, and those of you who don't know me and my background and all this is I studied marketing in school. I have a business degree. And so I, I both find this a slightly alarming that they track your every move, but also kind of cool because based on what you buy or what you search, these companies are tailoring your experience for you. So it is kind of good because it shows you products that you'll like based on previous purchases. Um, it kind of knows it, it, it starts to create a profile of who you are as a person, and then it better suggests um, things you would like. So if anyone's familiar with Pandora, I, I use Pandora, but I think Spotify is the same way, is that you can kind of give a thumbs up or thumbs down to a song that comes on. And every time you do that, you're, you're actually feeding the website more information about you yes i like this no i don't like this so yes i guess if you want to live you know underground in in a bomb shelter and have no connections with the outside world you would be safe from any tracking or any of that but in the day and age that we live in this is our reality and you can choose to embrace it or um, you know, not, but I, I, I think there's a way of doing things and, um, you know, and using technology for our benefit 
without being privy to, um, you know, identity theft and stuff like that. Um, so going back to about that joke about bank account, that's something that I would be really weary about putting on smart devices. But enough said about that. Um, Amazon is aware of the concerns on privacy and security. There has been issues in the past, but they are few and far between. Um, they are actively working to protect users. And you gotta remember that the company wants you to feel comfortable using the device um, because that's how they make money. So they're going to do what they can to protect you as the consumer. All right. So I know that was a bit of a whirlwind. Um, and I will do my best to answer any questions you may have about Alexa. Um, but like I said, I'm definitely not an expert. I'm just sharing my, um, my experience with you. Does anyone have any questions? Actually, I'm going to go ahead and um, stop the recording. Give me one second here. <laughs>